everyone, as you see in the title, VR2, does canning really save money? Boy, oh boy, I got in hook, line, and sinker on this one. I don't do a lot of VRs, but everybody was coming to me in messages saying they want to hear my intake on a very popular video that's getting a lot of flack. What happened was last week there was a video made and the host of the channel said that canning doesn't save you any money. Now, I don't really care for the channel that much, only because my personality and hers really don't mix very well. But you're going to be surprised because I'm going to agree and I'm going to disagree with her. Everybody knows I do a lot of canning. In fact, a big majority of my videos are canning. And she went on to say a blanket statement that canning doesn't save you any money. Well, that all depends. You know, we have to really be careful when we make a blank statement about things like this because it depends on where you live, it all depends on your lifestyle, it all depends on what you have available to you. First, we're going to talk about money. Does canning save money or doesn't it? Well, for me, it does. For me, canning my food saves me more money than buying it in the grocery store because I have a large garden. I'm able to get meat for 29 cents a pound. Dollar Tree beans are very cheap and it gives you security. Now what she was referring to is maybe in her area it doesn't work that way. Maybe she doesn't have a discount grocery store or maybe she doesn't have the access to things. She doesn't have a garden and she's never canned. So it's really hard to make a statement about things like this if you never give it a try. That's like somebody saying how to parent a child if they never even had one. So her statement is partly false. But everywhere you go, it's different circumstances. So for me, it saves me a lot of money. And for me, it's been a lifeline and a time when our income was 75% less than what it was. So I'm going to share with you in tangible ways other reasons why home canning is what is important. And it is a lifesaver in many situations in your life. Now, even if you don't have a garden like mine, home canning can make a big difference in your life. Home canning is a great hobby, but it's also self-reliance. She went on to say about it being a hobby, and it could be expensive one. While it can be expensive when you first initially have the investment, what in life isn't? What in life doesn't have an expense in the beginning? But you can go to yard sales, garage sales. You can buy all kinds of canning things for very little money. So all of these things, while she may think that they're expensive and it's not worth it, the worth is far more than the disadvantages. Not everybody can garden, not everybody can have big gardens, but there's always food that you can get at discount. Always. Always something you can get. Dollar Tree beans you can get and can them. When you can your food, you know what's going in your food. You're not relying on tin can and aluminum. Tin cans are very bad for you. They can cause all kinds of things in your health. By canning it yourself, you're using jars. Like my strawberries. You know, maybe you are on a set income and maybe you don't have the money to buy food. Do you go to a food pantry? You can take the food pantry and you can can it and you can preserve it for years to come. So many people ask me, well, Tessie, how long does food last canned? My friends, it lasts you five years, at least. You can use your canned food for many years. I am eating some canned food from 2014, and it's great. Also gives you self-satisfaction. It also helps you in your hobbies. It helps you in your. It also helps you in your motivation. It helps you get up in the morning and do something. It doesn't matter what handicaps you have. You can always do something to be a little more self-reliant. I wish she would have gave canning a try. Canning isn't for everyone. It requires work, but then. You can look at your work and say, wow, canning is a work of art. So looks at it as a here and now, an easy solution. Just go to the grocery store, buy what you need, and you're all right. 
Well, what happens if there is no grocery store? Now, I know she's not a prepper, and so she doesn't see it in that way. But what happens if we need to learn our old-fashioned skills? What happens if we need to learn these things? You know, maybe you're, you say you're too old to can, but if you know the skills, you can help teach a younger person. Nobody cans, nobody has the skill. The older women are to teach the younger women, because when you get older, there are things that you can't do as much, but yet you can teach. So teaching canning is an amazing thing. But what happens if the art of canning goes away? Who's to teach the younger generation in a time where they may need it for their families? This meat I got free at the food bank. This meat was going to be probably thrown away at some point. I canned it. I have it. It's here. I could go on and on and on for hours about canning. I do understand her point of view where she's saying that in some cases, yes, canning could be more expensive, but where there's a will, there's a way. And if you really want to can, you can. Water bath canning, you can can hundreds of different things using the water bath. You don't have to have a pressure canner to can lots of things. And people will buy and spend money on things that they enjoy doing it on. Think about this. Just think about this. A couple Starbucks coffees. A couple of Starbucks coffees can buy you a case of these. That's putting it in perspective. A couple Starbucks coffees can pay for a case of these. In fact, in some places, not even a couple. How much does it cost to get a Starbucks coffee? Well, right now in line, I can get a case of these for about $10. And just look at the wonderfulness of it all. Why go to the yard sale and buy trinkets and things? Because these things won't last. Go to the yard sale and look for canning things. Or don't go to the yard sale at all. Save your money. <laughs> like I said, we all will make a way when we want to. I understand there are a lot of people on a very low income. And a lot of people say, well, they can't can. But I'm telling you, you can. <laughs> because I can a lot of things in pickle jars, regular store-bought pickle jars. I can can pickles in them. I can can all kinds of things in them. You don't have to buy canning jars. And then we could go on to dehydrating. Now that doesn't take much talent at all. In fact, it doesn't take much muscle power either. Hmm, I wonder if she would say that dehydrating doesn't save money either, because it surely does. Listen, I am very low income here. In fact, I'm probably a little bit below the poverty line. I don't talk much about that. But look at all the things I was able to do. Because I use my money for things that are going to last me for years to come. You don't find me going to the mall, getting my hair done. You don't find me going to these places. You find me buying jars. And you find me buying discount food. Because you never know what tomorrow will bring. I hope you enjoyed this VR. And I hope you enjoyed my intake on it. It was an extremely controversial video that she put out. And my guess is she did that for a reason. Sometimes larger, especially larger channels, will put out something extremely controversial, like not prepping and all things like that, just to get some views. Oh, she got the views all right, but she sure did get the flack on this one. We all have hobbies in life and we all have passions. So canning is just one of mine. And it's so nutritious compared to buying store-bought. But like I told you, if you don't can and you remember these things, we need to keep these things going for generations to come. A lot of you who don't can anymore remember your grandma canning. And so you have that beautiful memory of your ancestors doing all of these old-fashioned things. But if we don't keep passing it on, who's going to know them? My seven-year-old and nine-year-old grandchildren watch me. They see all the old lifestyle. They see the old-fashioned way of living. And they are learning, and they want to learn. And while I'm long gone from this world, I hope that they continue the traditions. We need to keep these old traditions alive. Because we're in a world where fastly it's turning towards the in thing. Sometimes the in thing is not really what it's cracked up to be. 
Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow.